On Aruba's west coast, you'll find sandy beaches and intimate coves. Inland, on the other hand, you'll discover desert areas with picturesque rock landscapes, huge cacti and trees called Davidivi. Learn more about Aruba. Aruba is called the Lucky Island. It is a small Caribbean island that impresses with sparkling turquoise waters and endless sandy beaches. There are so many sites that you can successfully spend a whole month there. The happiest island in the Caribbean is not just sun, sand, and sea. Exotic but desert-like Aruba offers diverse terrain, varied landscapes, wild and crude east coast, interesting flora and fauna as well as plenty of places to experience the adventure of a lifetime. Aruba is a small island in the Caribbean Sea located above Venezuela. The island has the area of 180 square kilometers and belongs to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Together with Caracao, Bonaire, Saint, Martin, Saba A. Saint Eustatius, it forms the Caribbean part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Aruba has a population of about 106,000 people, 80 of which are Arubans, 10 Dutch, and the rest are of European or South American origin. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation, tickets to attractions, and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. Orangestad is the capital of Aruba. This colorful city on the southern coast of the island originally inhabited by the Dutch offers its visitors numerous attractions in a beautiful setting. Main Street is an excellent starting point for exploring the city you'll find colorful and historic buildings inspired by Dutch colonial architecture with Caribbean touches there. Not only are there many stores on Main Street, but there are also many other sites, such as the Renaissance Mall, Royal Plaza, Renaissance Marketplace, and numerous flea markets. The downtown area has some of the oldest restaurants on the island which are a must visit. Marina stretches along L.G. Smith Boulevard. It's a perfect place for a stroll, and on some days there are many stalls where you can find interesting souvenirs related to the island. You will definitely enjoy the view of moored sailboats, fishing boats, and cruise ships. Good food with a fantastic view is served at the West Deck restaurant. Why go on vacation to Aruba? Because of great weather and fantastic sandy beaches in the first place. Eagle Beach is the most popular and widest beach on the island with amazing turquoise water. There is always something going on at Palm Beach. Long line of hotel resorts, nightclubs, stores, and restaurants overlooking the sandy coastline stretch along the Palm Beach. Baby Beach is a quiet spot on the southern end of the island. It's very popular among the locals because it's a little farther from the tourist areas. Boca Grande is one of the best beaches in Aruba for kite surfing. Arashi Beach is in the Nord District and has some great surfing spots. With coral reefs and wrecks off the coast, it attracts many tourists. It is also popular for snorkeling. Anyone who loves kayaking and scuba diving must make a mandatory trip to the Spanish Lagoon. After a short introduction and exercise, you paddle through the beautiful turquoise waters of the lagoon, enjoying stunning views of the coastal areas, fishing grounds, and mangroves. A special feature is that the kayaks are equipped with pedal drive, which is less tiring and saves more power, which can later be used while diving. Snorkeling takes place in the clear waters of the upper reef with many colorful fish and other sea inhabitants, such as turtles, moray eels, and sea snakes. The Watchtower, Old Stone Lighthouse, which rises 30 meters towards the northwestern part of the island, is its symbol today and an irreplaceable attraction for tourists. 
Every day, hundreds of people admire this breathtaking view. Especially at sunset, the lighthouse was named after the sinking of the ship California in 1891. It was a British steamer that sank off the coast of the island. The lighthouse is located on a plateau, 10 meters above sea level with a panoramic view of the beautiful beaches and coastline. In addition to the natural beauty and unique landscape, you can also enjoy the wonderful gardens of the nearby golf club. Aruba is a place where animals are certainly protagonists. There are places where you can really have fun and spend a special day out. One of them is the butterfly farm where you have an opportunity to encounter nature in all its beauty. Imagine a tropical garden full of colorful butterflies and all kinds of their varieties. You can observe their entire life cycle. The guides tell you about the whole process of transformation from egg to larva and to butterfly. In some cases, you can follow this final stage of transformation and watch butterflies first flight. Another place particularly suitable for children is the local ostrich farm with more than 80 specimens bred. Children can take photos and learn how to take care of those large birds. The most anticipated moment is when they can be fed. On the farm, which is located in a very picturesque area among mountain landscapes, there are many places to have rest. There is a store where you can buy eggs and also an African art market. Donkey Sanctuary is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to save the island's donkeys, as well as to educate the locals and tourists on how to take care of them. Donkeys once used to be the main means of transportation. Today, many are sick and injured. The sanctuary is located in the Santa Cruz district of northeastern Aruba, about eight kilometers from the Eagle Beach. For those who do not just want to lie on the beach, but prefer to do sports, windsurfing, or kite surfing course at Haiti Curfing Course at Hedekareri Beach, is recommended. Conditions are perfect for beginners. The wind is not too strong and the waves not too big. It's great fun for the young and the old. You can take lessons at Aruba Active Vacations in a group or individually. What is a low vera? When and what is it used for? You can learn all these in the museum and factory that are dedicated to this plant. A low came to Aruba more than 180 years ago. Within a few years, two-thirds of Aruba's land area was covered with this plant, and the island became major world's exporter. Visitors can explore the Alu Plantation, the museum, and the factory. The guides provide detailed information and also tell anecdotes. In the museum, you can discover a history that began more than 160 years ago. Inside, there are old tools, devices, and equipment, as well as a library that explains any doubts about the plant. The store sells aloe vera products, body face, and hair care lotions. The island of Aruba features cloudless sky, sunshine, and light trade winds practically every day of the year. The weather in Aruba is truly a dream. The sun always shines with some exceptions when a little rain falls to water tropical plants. Aruba's wonderful climate is just one of many reasons why the number of tourists returning to the island is high in comparison to the rest of the Caribbean. The amount of rainfall is about 400 millimeters per year. From October to January, there is the greatest likelihood that it will rain occasionally. The average temperature throughout the year is 27 Celsius degrees. It is slightly warmer from May to October and slightly cooler from December to March. It's always summer in Aruba. The weather is fabulous, so you can plan a vacation all year round. The island is on the southern edge of tropical cyclones in the Caribbean and is mostly spared by storms. Due to the low rainfall, the vegetation on the island consists mainly of cacti and davidibi trees. These trees are characteristic of Aruba and can often be seen in photographs or postcards. Aruba's cuisine is a multicultural mix of delicious flavors influenced by Dutch, Spanish, Portuguese, South American, and Caribbean dishes. There are also excellent seafood and barbecue restaurants as well as Asian cuisine. There are several places worth visiting. 
Old Kanuku House offers typical Caribbean dishes. They are served in an old country house. Everyone must try the local specialty. Cabrito Stoba. It is a Reuben stew in tomato sauce served with spicy potatoes, onions, garlic, peppers, nutmeg, and sometimes a little curry. Zerover is a fish restaurant in Savaneta in the south of the island. It is plain and simply good. They offer freshly fried fish and shrimps with fried bananas. French fries, pan batai, which is the local version of cornbread, onion and vinegar and tartar sauce. There's nothing fancy here, but it's a place where you can sit back and relax. The currency in Aruba is the Aruban Florin, which is a derivative of the Gilder. In addition, the US dollar is also used and accepted everywhere. Prices in hotels, restaurants, and entrance fees are often quoted in dollars, so you can easily convert everything. The best way to explore Aruba is to rent a car which gives you the freedom to travel. There are also buses, but not everywhere, and they don't run very often. Although the island is small and you can take several routes by bicycle, it is not the best way to travel around. There are no bike paths, so you have to ride on or along the highway. Arubans are not the best or safest drivers, so when driving, watch traffic and other drivers carefully. Many hotels also offer transfers to and from the airport. There are also many cabs in Aruba by which you can travel. However, expect high prices. Aruba is considered one of the safest places in the Caribbean with low rates of violence and petty crime. There is therefore nothing to fear, although caution should be exercised. Papiamento is spoken in Aruba. It is a Creole language that has its roots in Dutch, English, Spanish, Afrikaans, Portuguese, French, and several other languages. Most residents speak four languages and English is widely spoken too. By the way, douchey is one of the favorite words of the people here. It means as much as sweet and nice, but can also be used to describe delicious food. A wonderful word that fits the happy island. In addition to its beautiful beaches and interesting sights, Aruba is also famous for its great nightlife. There are many great restaurants, bars and clubs where you can party until dawn. It is definitely worth booking one or two nights to feel the fantastic atmosphere of the island and have a little fun with Caribbean rhythms. Depending on the place from which you are departing and the conditions that can be unfavorable at times it may sometimes be hard to get to Aruba. This may seem like a disadvantage, but once you arrive at your destination any inconveniences of the flight will be forgotten in a flash. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip!